Do you want to calculate the net present value of a project using a Hewlett Packard HP 12C calculator, but you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. But first, I want to say I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. I did a prior video in which I calculated the net present value for this very project without a financial calculator. So if you don't have a financial calculator, you may want to check out that video that I've linked up here. If you don't have a financial calculator and you want to get one, I've linked to some choices down in the description of this video below. You may want to check those out. But if you do have a calculator already, such as the HP 12C, I'm going to show you how to calculate easily the net present value of this project here that I have an example of for you. If you have a BA2 plus financial calculator, I have calculated the net present value for this very project in the video that I've linked up here. So you can check out that video if you need to. All right, so the net present value, what we're looking at is we've got an outflow of money, in this case, $30,000 to invest in a project. The project's gonna generate cash flow, positive cash flow for the company over the next five years. Of course, this, these are projected numbers that the company is trying to decide whether or not to invest in this, in this project. So these are projected numbers over the next five years. Of course, the project you're working on may have fewer years or more years. The process is going to be the same with the calculator. So let me show you how to do that with the HP 12C calculator. And then if you stay till the very end, I'll tell you how to know whether this is a good project or not for the company. The first thing that we need to do on the HP 12C is clear out the financial memory. So the way we do that is this little orange F button. I hit this first and then you see clear FIN, clear financial. That's the one that we want to push that clears the financial. Anytime you hit the F button, you can see the little F appears here. and the, Or if you hit the G button, the G appears. So that's the way you get the high these orange ones are going to be the f which are above and the g are the ones that are on the bottom of the keys here so the f if you want one of those you would access those by hitting the f to access the blue you would hit the g and i'm going to clear everything by hitting the clx so we've cleared out the memory the first thing we need to do is show this outlay this $30,000 is going to be paid out for the investment into this project. So I write the 80, the 30,000 and we need to change the sign because this is money going out of the com company, not money coming in. So the CHS that's changed sign makes it negative 30,000. And this is our initial outlay. So it's the first cash flow. So I'm going to hit, I'm looking here, the CF and sub zero. So I hit the G and right below the PV button, I hit that one. And that takes that in as the initial cash flow. The next cash flow is positive. It's coming into the company that first year and it's $11,000. So at the end of the first year, they've made $11,000. So I type in the 11,000 and that's going to be one of our cash flows in. So that's the CF with a sub I. So I hit the G gives me the blue button. I hit that for the 11,000. I like to go and check it off so I know that I've taken care of that. The next one, I don't have to hit enter or anything. I type in the 8,000 for the second year. And again, I hit the G and that same CFI and it puts it in the next entry. Check that one off. And we're gonna do the next one, the 10,500. Hit the G again, and where the payment is, we hit that. It enters that into the information. Then the fourth year, 11,500. Once again, hit the G, and the 
cash flow button. Check that one off. And the last one is 12,500. Hit the G and the cash flow. So now I've entered all of the cash flows. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to enter the interest rate. In this case, it tells us in the problem 10%. And of course, this is the same exact problem that I did in the prior videos. I go ahead and enter 10. I don't want to put it in as 0 0.10. I enter it as 10. Right after I enter that cash flow, I type in 10. And then the interest is the I. So I hit the I. That takes in the interest. And the last step then is we're going to compute the net present value. So I hit the orange F button and right above the present value is the NPV. I hit that and it tells me that the net present value is $10,116.50. We can round that up to 55 cents. Should the company undertake the project? Well, it is a positive value. So the company should undertake the project because it adds value to the company. If this added value to you, I would appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.